What's up my future millionaires? We're on video 57. We're gonna do a walkthrough on this house here. Uh, the numbers on it is purchase price 95,000 and the resale is 185,000. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do a walkthrough on this. I already know it's not gonna work, but, but I'm gonna show you why and the things I'm looking at and give you some value in this video. So come with me as we walk through here, ready? All right, so check it out. So first off, let's, let's go back here. Why don't you take it, check out this jungle. Got these trees overgrown, grass 10 foot tall. You got the trees hitting the roof. The roof was decent but there is a lot of wood rot and stuff around here so as i'm walking i'm just kind of wrapping my head around wood rot exterior issues uh like this here like i know this hasn't been updated because uh, any time a service has been updated there's like a plastic pipe that comes up and so so you got a meter mask and uh you know riser and then this line here is like really low so like none of that none of that is code so that's already a red flag that the electricals you know there's some issues uh I don't know if this guy had like a cheetah or what, man, but that's a hell of a hole. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so as I'm walking through here, the first thing I'm looking at is can I add bathrooms or bedrooms? So you can see we have like a like living room dining. I guess we just walked through the kitchen with the stripper pole right there. Uh, so really small kitchen. And we got bedroom, bathroom, and then another bedroom. You know, so a lot of investors walk in here and probably think like, well, hey, look, the tile's already done. I do not put my tile on drywall because like, you know, as this collects moisture, this eventually will rot out and fall off. You know, some some contractors will put uh, red guard on there and, you know, people can argue with me all day long. I don't agree with it. So even though this tile is beautiful, I, I don't know. I just had a little bit more integrity than that. So I'd rip this all off and, and uh, do it right. Vanity, probably keep that. So that's a plus. Mirror, maybe keep in that light. We can see none of the none of the um, drywall is finished, but you could put some crown molding up there, cover the gap, I guess. But still, it's a little ghetto. Uh, nothing fancy with the bedrooms, right? We know we had electrical issues because that that meter outside, and plus you can see this guy tried to rewire in here already, and then lath and plaster, and then you got knob and tube uh through there uh that, that just this takes an eye to see it uh let's see here let me let me let me get my, let me get my flashlight on so like i said the first thing i'm doing is looking for uh bedrooms and bathrooms to add to get the arv up and then i'm looking at all the the mechanicals which is a train good system it's probably be clean it's off the floor which is good so i know it's probably not rusted so that's a plus Next thing you know, thing I'm looking at is, uh, you know, like I said, plumbing electrical. We know electrical got to be redone. And then the plumbing looks like it's galvanized, which is this pipe right there. Ah, uh, it's cobwebs. And so that will probably have to get redone. Maybe not. We can test it. But I would put it as a contingency to redo it. And then uh, where the hell is the water lines? Oh, there it is. All the water lines are galvanized. So more, more than likely, there's going to be a, rust, a lot of rust that comes out of there. Now, here's the next thing I look at is foundation. This whole wall is bowed in. There's light there. It's bowed in there. And then it is bowed in over there. Now, if the numbers made sense, I'm not concerned with the bowed foundation like this because you can actually brace this up and pull the stone out, restack it, retuck point it, and, and you're good to go. But that whole wall pretty much all the way down to right about there needs to be redone. And this wall all the way down so what i'm looking at is how far it bows and then i go a few feet past that now i'm not no expert on foundations but uh, all i did was send some photos to my foundation guy and just say hey off your hip give me give me some numbers so there's there's the other plumbing stack there's, ah let's walk through cobwebs again um that is not code right there you can just look at that and say man it just doesn't look right and if you question it just send a picture to your plumber and just say hey man what do you think and you'll probably get a good laugh at that so um, that really needs to be cut off and then a, like a Y put on and they'll put like a fern coat, which is like a rubber boot and then run run uh, their, their plumbing to it. So, uh, he, well, there's some PEX plumbing. It, it's still janky. It, so you just got to think like a future buyer, they're going to come in here. They're going to be like, mm, they're going to call it out on inspection. You know, sometimes if it works fine, then you can you can just leave it. But I don't know. Small house like this makes sense just to just to redo it. Actually, 
There might be quite a bit more pecs than I'm thinking. So that's a plus. That is a plus. Um, so I got some support posts in here. They added, looks like they did it right uh, from quick view because it's, you know, clamped on there. Um, what else we got down here? The hot water tank's right over there. Uh, it's pretty well shot. Here, let me just show you. Stay with me. Um, so, yeah, you see how, like, rusty it is? It, it just needs to go. Um, the joist, the floor joist, I'm looking at those, make sure there's no major termite damage. And they're just pretty nasty down here. It just needs to get cleaned up. Now, the other thing I noticed was a lot of lead-based paint. So let me take you back up here and show you this. Ow, God, I just hit my head. Stupid. Ouch. Stupid wall. And I'm short, too. I'm not even a tall guy. I hit my head on that. All right, so remember, I talked on one of my videos about lead-based paint, and it's everywhere. See how, like, it's like a puzzle? It just flicks off like that. But, uh, it's not very good. Um, washer and dryer room panel needs to go. So quick analysis, like on uh, this renovation, I would say the foundation repairs probably be uh, $15,000, $18,000. And then everything else would be about to redo the electrical, uh, prepare for the plumbing, some worst case contingency. Uh, like off my hip, probably forty five thousand. So we're at like we're at like sixty five thousand, seventy thousand. So you can do the math. Purchase price ninety five thousand. It ain't gonna work. This one is really bad. Um, and we didn't even talk about the exterior. Like we didn't even go around there. And there definitely is some work that needs to be done. So I'm not even going to pull the calculator out on this one. It just this. I mean, spread's not there. If if we can make this two fifty. Then, then I would, you know, I'd go through my cheat sheets and, and my, my calculators and stuff like that and, and really get a good number on it. But I'm not going to waste my time on this one. And so sometimes you just have a gut feeling. Like I said, I've seen a lot of these, but if you're newer, still go ahead and run your numbers. You want to get the practice. You, you, you want to, you want to get familiarize yourself with this because like I said, if the numbers do make sense, then, then you want to go for it because you're going to make a lot of money on these, you know? So, um, that's it for this video. Uh, like I said, it's a no-go. I have to find another one to, uh, to look at. And fingers crossed, we're going to buy one soon. And we're going to take you on a whole entire journey of how it's really done. Not HGTV style. Ugh. You know, that's, that, that's for the phonies. So we're going to go real life. I mean, this is, this, is, this is what it's about right here. So we will catch you on the next video tomorrow. Peace.